name is Florence Oklo, the Saints for Seeds Coordinator at Love Mercy Foundation, Uganda. I am presenting on how the project has met the needs of people in rural communities. And my number one point is it has led to growing of crops on large scale. Before the Saints for Seeds project, women used to grow crops on a very small scale because they did not have a source of seeds. You find that at a growing season, uh, seeds become very expensive for the women to afford but with our project we keep the seeds for them and we avail uh, to them during the growing season so you find that the women are given five kilograms of sim sim and 10 kilograms of soya at the growing season so this has made them to grow crops on a large scale if a woman grows 5 kilograms of simsim, she can harvest up to 500 kilograms of simsim. That is when a uh, season goes well, when there are no floods, and when there is no drought. Another point I'd like to present is that uh, the Sense for Seeds project has led to availability of food in families. When, uh, when a woman grows 5 kilograms of Sim Sim, she can harvest up to 500 kilograms. And Sim Sim has a lot of uses. And one of the major uses of Sim Sim is that it is a source of food for the people. It, uh, the women can grind the Sim Sim to make a paste, which they always mix with green vegetables. And this is already a source of food for the children and the whole household. The infants are normally made of, uh, fed on soya porridge, which has a lot of proteins, and this has reduced malnutrition among children. Another point is that uh, our Sense for Seeds project is a source of income to the women in the rural areas. When a woman grows 5 kilograms of sim sim and harvests up to 500 kilograms, this is a lot of money that you have given to a woman and you have really helped her to survive. So if a woman harvests 500 kilograms, that is 1.5 million shillings in Uganda. And that is a lot of money for, uh, for someone to have, especially in the rural area. And then if a woman harvests 400 kilograms of soya, that is approximately 800,000 Uganda shillings. So really, these two crops are a real big source of income to our women. So that's why you find that our women are now able to send their children to school. They are able to access uh, basic needs. They are able to access good medical care services in times of sickness. The women are able to build permanent houses. When a woman gets uh, soya and sim sim, then she goes and far, grows and harvests well. That is already a source of money that has helped women nowadays to start constructing is in permanent houses to accommodate their families and this is really very good. So the women are also now strong members of the family. <clears throat> Our farmers have started buying livestock. They are buying cattle, goats, sheep, poultry, and many others. And then uh, the women have been empowered. We find that when the women come for trainings, especially agricultural trainings, they, uh, they are empowered with knowledge, knowledge on how to select good land for farming, how to prepare their land, uh, on the planting season, how to plant their crops well, timely weeding, harvesting, pest and disease control. This is the knowledge that they get when they come for agricultural trainings. So the women are really empowered with this knowledge and this has made them strong via farming. They know what to do when they go to the garden and they farm with confidence. And when the season goes well, they get very good harvests, which has made their life better. This is how the sense for seeds has impacted the people in the rural areas.